Today we're going to work a little more on the E30. I've got to pull off the front hubs and the rear hubs or bearings. Um, we're going to change the bearings all around this car. My friends at E-Euro Parts have provided new bearings to go all around this thing as well as some of the other items I need to get the underside of this car in tip top shape. We're going to make this right. So thank you guys. We're going to get at it. So. Where I'm at today, on my list of things to do, is to take off the hubs to get at the bearings and that way I can get at all the suspension bits and axles and diff and all that anyway. But we're going to do it. People on the street are talking. It's annoying. Let's start working. So when I pulled the dust shields off this car, the, I noticed that these nuts are in surprisingly good shape. That's right, you heard it here first. My nuts are in surprisingly good shape. So let's take them off. Alright, so ideally I would have a chisel to do this, but I don't. Um, so I'll probably be using a combination of screwdrivers and punches. Yeah, let's try a screwdriver. This was done so well, I don't know if I can undo it. Of course I can. I think I got it. Oh, and now we're gonna switch to a punch. Try to flatten this out. Alright, one down, three more to go. Or two, or one. Alright, so it's actually only the front wheels that have these locking nuts. So I've got one down, I'll go do the other one now, and then honestly I gotta look up what to do about the rears, but I'm learning as I go. Hope you are too. Bear with me. Alright, you can see on this side, I got pretty tight quarters to work with. I got a two car garage with two cars in it. I always hope one day for some big garage space I could work on cars in, but it's not happening yet. Doesn't mean it's not gonna happen. All right, so on this side we've still got the dust cap on, um, so we're gonna pop that off. Usually the way I like to do that is I've got an old screwdriver, and um, I kind of sharpened the the tip down a little bit. Gets me into some tight spaces. We're gonna pop that off, and. Um, straighten out the locking tab on the nut on this side and then we're going to figure out what to do on the back. Want to see? Alright, both front hubs are done. Now let's go take a look at the back and see what we got to do there. Loosen the drive axle nut and the rear wheel lug bolt. Depending on the type of the rear wheel, it may be necessary to remove the wheel first, remove the hub cap, then reinstall the wheel and loosen the drive axle nut. 
In 3 Series prior to the dust cap, I'm saying the wheel hub lift out the lock plate around the nut and loosen, but don't remove the nut. We're going to give this a try. Alright, so there's the rear axle nut in all its glory. So, we are going to put rotors on each wheel, rotors on each hub, put the wheels and tires back on, jack up the car, remove the jack stands, lower the car, pull the car out, loosen the uh, nuts, put it back in here, jack it all up, remove the wheels, rotors, and then take these nuts off completely, and then we'll put in new bearings. If it sounds like a lot of work, that's because it is. Let's get to work. Always got to have high hand protection. Eye and hand protection, but I don't really need eye protection for what I'm about to do. Now, this interior is going up for sale very soon because I got to rip it out to do all the work I'm going to do. I know it's a travesty. Um, but that's the way it is. So, if you know anybody who wants a 1991 318 IS interior, black leather, sports seats, front, back, carpet, I'll even sell the headliner, send me a DM or comment, send me an email, whatever the case is, let's make a deal. Um, local pickup. I don't want to ship this stuff. Alright, let's take some pictures. Take the nuts off, get this thing back in there. Alright, so now that the car is on the ground, we're hoping that the weight of the car will hold this in place so that I can get these, um, wheel nuts off wheel nut whatever these off now this car does not have brakes zero no parking brake no brake brakes so I won't be able to have that help me but let's see what we can get done thirty six millimeters Kind of what I was afraid of. It's working. I did it. Alright, that's it right there. That's the stupid lock ring deal. I win. What a job. That was tough. But we got it. We got all four nuts loose. Now we're going to wheel the car back in, pull off the wheels. And then we are going to tap.
tackle removing all these hubs and bearings and all that business. Yes! Um, this is part one. Stay tuned for part two. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you soon.